Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. Adventures on the far left. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. As you may know, the Democratic Party is split between moderates and far left folks, but it is the ideological zealots to get most of the attention. This week, Betsy DeVos was confirmed as Education Secretary. But before that vote took place, liberal bomb thrower Al Franken attacked Ms. DeVos in the Senate. It was one of the most embarrassing scenes I've witnessed during my time in the United States Senate. In fact, I believe it may have been one of the most embarrassing performances by a nominee in the history of the United States Senate. Now, the reason Franken does not like Betsy DeVos is that she's a champion of school choice. She has devoted much of her life trying to bring quality education to poor kids, often trapped in bad inner city schools. You'd think that an uber liberal like Franklin, Franken would approve of trying to help poor children, but he does not. Why? Because by offering school vouchers and encouraging charter schools, which are run apart from the public school system, Ms. DeVos is challenging the powerful teachers' unions. And those unions and their associates have donated more than $150,000 to Al Franken's campaigns. How enlightening. So Franken, like many politicians, panders to those who give him money. It's beyond question that poor American children, often minorities, are not getting the same quality of education that middle class and wealthy children are getting. So why not try something new? Why not try school choice? Why not give poor parents subsidies to choose better schools for their kids? Why not? How long are we going to put up with discrimination against the poor? How long, Al? In another far-left adventure, Senator Elizabeth Warren, as close to a socialist as you can get, attacked Senator Jeff Sessions in hearings over whether Mr. Sessions should become the new attorney general. What Warren did was try to read a letter written by Coretta Scott King 31 years ago, 31, that criticized Mr. Sessions. It all had to do with the senator prosecuting a voter fraud case in Alabama while he was a U.S. attorney there. The situation involved three civil rights activists who Sessions believed were committing voter fraud. The three were ultimately acquitted of the charges, and Mrs. King was furious with the case. Again, that was 31 years ago. But last night, seeking to paint Jeff Sessions as a racist, Warren brought it up in the Senate. Senators impugn the motives and conduct of our colleague from Alabama as warned by the chair. Senator Warren, quote, said Senator Sessions has used the awesome power of his office to chill the free exercise of the vote by black citizens. I am surprised that the words of Coretta Scott King are not suitable for debate in the United States Senate. I ask leave of the Senate to continue my remarks. Is there objection? Object. I appeal the ruling. Object. Objection is heard. The senator will take her seat. Later, Senator Warren read the letter on Facebook. Now, you can decide whether the far left is really looking out for the country by objecting to school choice and trying to smear a man like Senator Sessions. That call is entirely up to you. But what is crystal clear is the huge divide between the attitudes of the far left and moderates in the Democratic Party, not to mention Republicans, where there is no common ground at all. Talking Points believes that honest debate is necessary, but part of that equation is letting you know what's really going on behind the scenes. Thus, tonight's memo. Now for the top story reaction with us here in New York City, Eric Bowling and Geraldo Rivera. Where am I going wrong, Geraldo? Well, you know, the call for robust and sincere debate in the United States Senate, I, I think that even you will admit, Bill, is sophomoric at this point. These are two sides that really hate each other. You saw it in the election, how close it was, the winning candidate getting the Electoral College majority, the losing candidate getting almost three million more votes. They are energized the left. It is the Frankens and Warrens of the Democratic Party who have shown that they've got, uh, uh, they've got the spirit to fight. The, uh, the leaders of the Democratic Party have absolutely wimped out. They blew the election uh, big time by failing to campaign in the Midwest, I think, now. Uh, the rallying cry will be, uh, you think remember this, this, Merrick you Garland. Think this, far think. this far left stuff is going to re-energize the Democratic Party to take back power? Is that what you think? I, I think they are a party that exists in name only. I think that these leftists will energize it 
so that it might recover in the midterm in really? time for the midterm elections. I, I what think do you that, say? I think the, the, the Democrats realize that they can't, they can't win any of these. They can put up a big fight. They can get on TV. They love the TV cameras. Every one of them, the louder they, they go or the more provocative things they say, they get TV camera, they get exposure on the O'Reilly factor. But I will tell you, I think this is a brilliant strategy by the GOP, and I hope that the, the White House is involved. For Mitch McConnell, knowing he has Sessions locked up, he's going to get Sessions as his yeah. attorney general, Sorry. to say, to stop Elizabeth Warren in her tracks while she's reading a letter from Coretta, uh, uh, from, uh, from Coretta, 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 Coretta. To, to stop her in her tracks, thereby giving her all this political cred. He, he just gave her so the you're same political the exact capital. Of what, well, what, I, what I think is we, she's raising money. I think they gave her her 2020 political ad yeah. when she runs against Trump. And Trump says, you know what? That but you, guys are, business, you guys are so far we apart here. Down. You say that it's a destructive thing for the Democratic Party in the long run, that most Americans aren't going to go this far left. Yep. You say that you think Americans are going to convince to go I this I say extreme? this is gross hypocrisy. I saw with my own eyes. Senator Ted Cruz called the majority leader Mitch McConnell a liar on the floor of the Senate. And I didn't see anybody raise this rule to say that Senator Ted Cruz was violating the rules of the Senate. Sit down as if you're a sixth grade school child. Well, I mean, for goodness sake, I mean, it was it, it's, it's, it's absolute, politics. There are it, it rules. Is, politics it, it, is right. Politics, that I agree with. But guess there are rules are, in the Colorado. Senate because in the uh, before the politics. Civil War, the people were caning each other. Well, that's what it's right. going to come to. This was, uh, Orrin Hatch called it famously the world's most deliberative, greatest deliberative body. The world's greatest they deliberative body. They fancy themselves civilized. Well, get, fasten your seatbelts for the well, next two years. That was street a fight. That was a street fight. That was a That was a brilliant long game strategy. Not short game strategy. Long yeah, game see, strategy you guys four years down the thinks, road. Rivera thinks that most Americans are, for some reason, going to go over to the Elizabeth I, Warren, Al Franken side. Most, most Democrats or most people who did not vote for Donald Donald Trump are either fearful right now or they are well, angry. That's all going to see Fear how, how and performs. anger will motivate, and they but are I, I, insisting she, she, she that these bit. wimps that represent she, them get, get their courage. I don't think that's ever going to happen. line and sinker. She bit onto that because she saw her opportunity to get the spotlight, to get that big, massive push, and now everyone's going to throw money at her. She's going to. Cory Booker? Did anyone mention Cory Booker today? No. No one mentioned Cory Booker. Did anyone yeah. mention Pelosi? This is a, a, Maxine a letter Waters, by Coretta Schumer. Scott King. Right. This but, is Coretta but, Scott King. You're not going to Coretta Scott King? No. What, what? Of course, she I mean, probably, she's not reading a, from some from far history, left wacko or some far right wacko. She probably wacko. had a right to read this that letter, but Mitch McConnell icon. and hopefully the, the White no, House realizes that. The reason she didn't have the right opening. to read the letter is, if you allow uh, a letter read by Coretta Scott King or anybody else, you have to let it all. And it's what they call hearsay. But they let them they, they, they let them read the letter later in the day. Well, whatever it is, there are rules that you can't impugn. Correct. The day impugn <laughs> the character of another fellow senator, which clearly she was doing by implying he was a I racist. Think, I think they led her right into the trap. I, well, your your whole know idea about 31 years, I think, is really off the mark because here is a senator who grew up in the Deep South, who really had a checkered past in terms of civil rights. He, he, a lot he of went evidence. through a personal evolution, right, an arc, good. which I think he they should not it. run away from. Robert Byrd? He should embrace Strom Thurmond. He, yeah, he should embrace Trump. it as part of America's change. Whether he's face. embracing anything, I don't care that it was 31 years ago. All right, I think that he presents his case and that the other side, Warren, presents their case, and then you have the vote, and he's going to be the attorney general. That's what's going to happen, okay? But you have to have decorum in the Senate. You can't have people uh, smearing each other as racist. That's not allowed. But what about Franken? We're giving him a pass. He doesn't want the poor kids to have better schools. Well, I you mean, and Franken on. should have had your knife fight years ago before he was elected. No, I'm a, a nonviolent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna, and plus, Franken is very articulate. He's very entertaining. No, he's not. He's raising he's money. He's so short. He's, he's funny. Money. He may he's be so short. Funny. Yeah, that I'd have to. I'd have to have a knife. <laughs> I don't. Maybe one With of those little Swiss <laughs> Army knives. <laughs> You'd keep missing them. But he doesn't want the poor kids to have good education. Yeah, you, they they saw, if you want to argue about coming. charter schools, that's a whole different They saw argument. that coming, though. They, they, they uh, earmarked yeah. the DeVos nomination as the one they were going to fight because of what You're you said. Obsessed. The because you want to have for guns for shooting grizzly the bears in schools. <laughs> You're obsessed. Bowling's obsessed, and her, Rivera's so out to lunch, the counter is closed. All right, gentlemen.